guys, good morning. It's Mike Chen here in Singapore. It's about uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, walking around trying to find a place to eat. The good thing about Singapore is whenever you're hungry for food, you're gonna be able to find some food, and usually that food is gonna be pretty darn good. And I found this place, Chao Pai Lao Wei Dao, so basically means old brand traditional flavor. Order one, two, three, four dishes. It smells amazing. This is gonna be awesome. Also, look out for the Singapore best food signs. Usually that means you're gonna get a great meal. So I got spicy ribs, laksa, stuffed meatballs, and of course, minced meat noodles. Oh my goodness, this pork dish smells so intoxicating. I smell the medicinal herbs, the star anise, some cinnamon. I smell the chilies. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, this is, wow. Yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for at five o'clock in the morning, something like this. First of all, the ribs are just sizzling and this little bob of sauce. There's just so much flavor in here. It's aromatic, it's extremely spicy, earthy. It's, again, the great flavors from the star anise. You taste a little bit of the cinnamons, a tiny bit sweet. There's probably some brown sugar in here. The meat is just melts in your mouth with a punch of umami. And this usually comes with a bowl of rice. I didn't get rice today because I got a lot of other carbs, but wow, this is good. Oh my God, this locks that smells good. Wow. Five in the morning, I expected to find some good food. I didn't think I'd find something this good. A spicy, explosive curry flavor. Rice noodle, able to soak a lot of great flavor in. With some tofu in here, some fish cake. Mmm. The tofu is able to grab on to that. Oh, that tofu is so good. That thing just grabs onto all that curry, filling up every single tiny bit of air pockets. When you bite it, your mouth just fills with that amazing broth. Mm. The fish cake is good. There's a great crunchy element from the sprout. My first laksa in Singapore. Won't be my last, but this will definitely be very memorable. This dish I'm so excited about. Pork noodles. Wow, my seafood inside looks like some abalone, fish balls, pork, minced pork, sliced pork, pork innards, mushrooms. Mm. Minced meat uh, noodles in Singapore are one of my favorite things in the world because it's so vinegary, so spicy, and it incorporates so many different textures and flavors. I get a little nice bite of organy meat, some of that great melting your mouth, sliced tender pork, some of the minced pork that breaks down even easier. Abalone, I've never seen this before. Mm. That's delicious as well. Little stuffed fish ball. No, it's not stuffed. It's still good. Overall, it's just a combination of everything. This is like the ultimate surf and turf noodle. The soy sauce, the vinegar, the chilies, everything combined just makes it savory, it's spicy. The noodle texture is perfectly chewy. Take a bite of that. Take a sip of soup. That's one of my favorite parts of Singapore right here on this table. Lastly, stuffed. I think this is I think this is supposed to be stuffed fish ball. I asked for stuffed fish ball. Mmm. Stuffed fish ball. Meat inside. Soaked in pork broth. That's why I love Asia. We're in the US. You want to eat something about four or five in the morning. It's either high hop dinnies or you're lucky at Waffle House. And this is my pre-breakfast breakfast. So go home, get ready for the day, and we'll have breakfast coming up. Let me just go back to these ribs. If you're around Singapore, you gotta come here and try these ribs. You can bite the end, the cartilage is in there. You get a nice crunch besides all that great herby flavor from the meat. And that dish, chewing is optional. It really is. <laughs> Oh 
lunchtime. So this is Thompson Center. They used to have a lot of vending machines here, and that's why I came here. They had like a durian vending machine and coconut, but I feel like vending machines just kind of disappeared in Singapore in the last few months. Anyway, not all is lost. There's a really interesting hot pot place called Sukara Nojo. It's a chicken hot pot. And it was really intriguing because I, I thought it was like a tofu hot pot in the beginning because it kind of just looks like these giant white pieces of things in a hot pot. And also, there's a, currently a chicken shortage right now. So they don't have the set menu anymore. The set used to be the most popular thing. Now everything's just a la carte. So single flavor pot. Let's do the double flavor pot. Oh, there's a lot of different original spicy sukiyaki tomato pumpkin spinach there's some sauce there's additional ingredients you can buy never had this kind of hot pot before i get a good feeling about this okay i'm really dumb i thought from the pictures that this was pieces of chicken breast in the hot pot it's not it's just collagen shaped like a chicken breast so the collagen all that is gonna melt into the pot and then the ingredients you order you dip it in just like a traditional hot pot so i, I don't think i ordered enough food because i'm ordering food i'm like Why not? i don't need to order that much i got like all these chicken breasts in here it's not i'm i'm just dumb anyway the name of the store literally is beauty pot so basically all the collagen um, here is supposed to be really good for your skin, really good for your hair. Basically this is a hot pot that's supposed to make you more beautiful. I can use a little bit of that. One thing about this place, it is definitely not cheap. The fish cake was $5. So basically a dollar for each piece of this fish cake. The pot is boiling, got two different flavors, the original and the spicy. They highly recommended the original. Spicy one actually. So I was wondering what these little cups were for. It's for the broth, so you can drink it straight away. Like I was saying, that this hot pot can make you beautiful. Sign me up. This is ridiculously tasty. Super rich, full of collagen. You'll definitely be smacking your lips after every single sip of this. But it's not overly thick and oily where we feel kind of overly greasy drinking this it's just so delicious it's like just the ultimate ultimate thick rich chicken soup wow that's good i think in new york i've had chicken collagen hot pot before but it was like way way too thick this just coats your mouth right away and you just feel like you can't really eat too much of it this I drink the whole pot. The spicy side is even more delicious with a little bit of heat with that rich, creamy, smooth broth. It's just excellent. Started to add all the other ingredients in. I mean, this broth is so good even before all the other ingredients. So far, they put chunks of chicken in here. I ordered beef, pork, some clams. Fish cakes is what they highly recommend. This is a giant piece of chicken breast that's been cooking in this pot. And you can get dipping sauce, although it's not necessary. Mm. Anything cooked in this broth, you really don't need anything else. This broth is so delicious. Right away gives the ingredients so much flavor. Pork is amazing, and that's just gonna add even more fat into that amazing broth. Gonna go ahead and add the fish cakes in and some of the veggies. Again, nothing is oily. It's just, it just tastes really good chicken soup. And these bones are just stewed for, they said, eight hours with all that rich collagen added in. Probably the first time in my life where I'm eating hot pot where I'm not dipping everything in dipping sauce. I just take the ingredient out, get a little soup, slurp, and devour. This is just too good. Toss some of that in. Other side. I am really excited for this broth. Some seafood, 
the clams of course gonna bring a little brininess to the broth. I was gonna make this even better. Also, got some Wagyu beef. Look at that marbling. This might be richness overload when this thing goes in. I can't get enough of this. Like, the more I drink it, the more I want to drink more. Fried tofu where it soaks up all that great broth. Mm. Now it's a kind of a race against time. You don't want the broth to kind of overcook because you don't want any of this great soup to evaporate. Min Tai Ko stuffed fish cake. Mm. The seafood flavor tastes much better. Just with a little bit of a surf and turf action going on, the fish cake's a little sweet, but it goes perfect in this chicken soup. All right, let's try it. Let's try the Wagyu. Just put a piece Wagyu. When you put in stuff like pork or Wagyu, you taste the fattiness from the pork and fattiness from the beef. So you get have different flavors of fat mixed in with all that great chicken collagen. Again, for some reason, it's rich, but it's not overwhelming. It's not overly oily. It's not oily at all, actually. All right. That's about finished. I don't think I've ever drank so much hot pot broth in my life and enjoyed it so much. And this, usually after drinking so much hot pot broth, my stomach is feeling like a volcano ready to erupt. Honestly, I don't, I don't know if collagen or whatever's in this hot pot is really gonna make you look better or make your skin better. All I know is this tastes really, really good. And it's very unique hot pot. Definitely on the pricey side, but an interesting hot pot experience. Thank you. As if all that collagen wasn't enough. What kind of ice cream? Oh, it's so good. A salty, creamy Hokkaido ice cream. So instead of a spoon, I'll give you a shovel. Mm. All right, dinner at one of the best rated restaurants in Singapore. This is really interesting. It's called Saturday Scene, which pretty much means three people traveling. It's a Fujianese slash Sichuan restaurant. I never seen anything like that before. Because if you know Fujian food, which is very mild, a lot of seafood, which is very different than Sichuan food, which is ultra spicy, numbing, very aggressively seasoned. So here, there's soup dumplings, there's chicken soup, there's drunken chicken, that's a classic Sichuan dish. Sui Pi Da Chang, deep fried pig's intestines. Very classic Fujianese dish. Like I said, it's something I've never encountered before, but I'm so excited. Uh, when you show up, you get a little plate of cashews and I think daikons as your starter dish. There's some chili sauce. Let's get this meal started. Food is starting to arrive, so uh, first three dishes, really interesting. The crispy pork intestines, this is a classic southern Chinese dish. It's basically pork intestine fried, outside is fried until it's extremely, extremely crispy. And typically there's some dipping sauce with this. I'm gonna go ahead and use their chili sauce that they provided. Mm. The outside is just a thin layer of airy, crispy skin. Inside is fatty. Large intestine is one of my favorite foods out there. And this thing is cleaned very, very well. There's no funk whatsoever. And this chili sauce they have is delicious. It's garlicky, it's very spicy. Some herbs for a little bit of freshness. Mm. There's a head of umami in here as well. I don't know exactly what they added, maybe some shrimp paste or fish sauce. That's delicious. I have, I have not had a dumpling since coming to Singapore. This thing just looks so good. It's steamed wontons, and it's caught my attention because it's just soaked in this pool of chilies with scallions on top as well. And they give you a spoon for this, so I think maybe you're supposed to kind of eat the soup with this dish as well. The broth is light, very soy saucy, 
that's very spicy. I think it could be a little spicier before getting another bite of that. Next dish just arrived, look at this. They call this corn fish. So it's fish shaped like a corn. Here's the husk, but it's actually some bok choy. This I think is just the Sichuan dish Songzi Yu, the squirrel fish. But this one just kind of looks like corn. This is very good. The outside wonderfully crispy. Soaked in the sweet and tangy and sour sauce. Mm. Fish is really, really tender. Some pine nuts here to give it some additional fat. And even though the fish outside is covered in the sauce, it still maintains that nice, light little crunch that this dish is known for. I really, really like this. This is something I've never seen before. This is eggplant. It looks like breadsticks on this. Eggplant with pork floss on the bottom with some scallions. I love this. Last dish is here. I mean, it's really nicely fried. Got a nice crunch on the outside. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. I'm dipping in this chili sauce. This is an amazing chili sauce, by the way. I ate whatever was left in here. They filled it up for me again. The texture is great on the eggplant. It's missing a little flavor. This is a Namping noodle. So I see everybody ordering this. This is some sort of noodle. Um, I think this is a probably a Fujian dish. So this is um, a bunch of seafood, shrimp, um, clams, and then veggies, fried tofu, some bok choy, pork. Interesting. Mm. The broth is super light, very mild flavor. The noodle is definitely freshly made. It's good. Very much on the lighter side. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of this chili in here. That's much better. Much better. I think the purpose of this could serve like, like a rice dish because some of these fish is very saucy. And the other dishes are really, really flavorful. This could kind of serve as a base dish for, for all the others. You know, in case you don't want to add the chilies in there, I recommend adding that chili to everything. Eggplant. I think what could be really good for this too. I mean, it's probably been such a spectacular dish. This doesn't have much flavor. I think this will go great with the sweet and sour sauce from the fish. Yeah. Perfect. And that wraps up one of my first food dates here in Singapore. I woke up at four in the morning for some breakfast, got some beauty hot pot, finished it out with this Sichuan slash Fujianese restaurant. Normally you don't see those flavors going together, but here, the Sichuan food tastes like it came from a Sichuan restaurant. The Fujian dishes taste like it came from a Fujian restaurant. No wonder everybody loves the spice. Before this life, I was filming weddings, and most of the weddings I filmed were Fujianese weddings. I ate this type of food a lot. It's really an underappreciated cuisine. All right, I'm gonna finish my dinner. Of course, all the places I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.